everyone. We lost power, so I thought I would make my eggless egg salad. And I start off, so you might not see, it might be, not be an enormous amount of light, but it's still daylight. I'm using firm tofu. I've drained it. And I have a quarter sheet pan cookie sheet. And I'm going to, let's see if you could see that. I'm going to cut this in three. I'm using a long serrated knife into these three bricks. I'm going to lay them out on the paper towels and then cover them with more paper towels and then put a weight on them for all the liquid to be drained away. And I'm going to do this for about a half an hour. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is, in a bowl, chop up some scallions. And I think today I'm going to use wasabi mustard and mayo. So I'll be back once this is all drier, and then I'll crumble it with a fork. Be right back. Okay, I'm going to... I have the scallions. Uh, when I bring scallions home... I am so sincerely hoping you can see this. I prepped them so they're all ready to go. So I'm gonna grab some of the ones with the whites. And I don't need a lot because my husband, for obvious reasons, well, maybe not so obvious, but he's not a huge fan of tofu, so this is all for me. And that's okay. So I'm just gonna split the larger ones down the middle. And then probably cut them on a diagonal. Just so I have pieces. And I have a bowl ready where I'm gonna drop them. Actually, let me grab a larger knife. Oh, and another tip. Let me move my tomatoes out of the way. Um, I sharpen my knives before it's used using this. What is this by? Edge sharpener, just run it once through each side or a couple of times. And I always wipe the blade just in case there's any particles. The sharp a sharp knife will help you prevent um, will prevent you from cutting yourself. Um, it's really dull knives that cause people to cut themselves. And I have my fingers folded in. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to add that to the bowl. Now when the tofu is ready, all I'll do is use a fork to squish it. You can use um, potato masher if you're do, doing a lot, but since I only have one, one batch, I might stop at the onions for now just to see how much I need to add. Let me just check on the tofu, see if that's made any progress. Yeah, you, you could see, well, hopefully you could see, it's a re really, the paper towels are really saturated now. And if you want, you can also add a weight to it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to move these paper towels off and put a couple of new ones. You can use, um, instead of paper towels, you can certainly use a clean kitchen towel. And what I'm going to do is put a weight on this. Some beans. <laughs> and some beets. What else do I have on the table? And uh, teriyaki marinade. So I'm gonna leave this for a few more minutes to seep off some more of the, the more liquid you take out at this point, the more flaky and more egg salad like the consistency will be uh, when you go to fork it. So I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I've waited about 20 minutes and I put the slabs of tofu into the bowl and hoping to get as much light as I can. And now what I'm doing is I just took a regular fork. In the bowl I already have scallions, a little squirt of mayo, wasabi mustard, and a splash of vinegar, which is what I would put like in deviled eggs. And I'm taking the fork and squishing the... Oh! We just got power back! Ah. Yay! Power! Wow. So you get the... <laughs> you saw Miracle and <laughs> Modern Miracle. So um, what I'm going to do is squish this all and I'll be right back when it's a little more combined. And literally all I'm doing is I'm taking the fork and the tofu and squishing it up against the edge of the bowl which is giving that egg salad consistency. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've squished everything. <laughs> That's the official term. Everything's combined. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to add some more of the onions, scallions, because it'll give you a textural difference. Because right now it's all soft. And you can add celery, Whatever you would ordinarily add to an egg salad, you could certainly add to this. But this has no cholesterol. Well, actually I added some mayo. You can leave mayo out. You could just use vinegar and mustard if that's your preference. Whatever your flavors you like. Think of it as um, deviled eggs. In salad. So if you put mustard in your deviled eggs, and if you don't like that moist sound, I'm sorry, it's the sound that egg salad makes, or eggless egg salad. So I'm going to taste this for se a seasoning. And because this is my batch, I'm putting the fork back in. I need to add some pepper. Some sea salt. And I might eat this on a wedge of fresh tomato. Look at the heirloom tomatoes. We did we were we were able to save some of the tomatoes off the vine, off the plants after the storm. I think it needs just a little bit more vinegar. And I used um, red wine vinegar. I like that tartness it gives. And maybe a tiny little more squeeze of the wasabi mustard because I really like wasabi. So, there it is. Oh, I'm so excited the power is back. So, now that I've made my lunch, I'm going to go and continue working. Now I have a yummy... Egg, with egg salad for lunch. Mm. If you have any questions, I'll post the recipe in the description below. If you want to see other vegetarian recipes, just leave me a comment. I was a vegetarian for 10 years before I met my husband. And for the last 15, I've been slowly becoming a carnivore. Although on occasion, I really, really do crave this. So this is really, really good. It's delicious. If you uh, leave out the mayo, it keeps really nicely for lunch boxes for kids. And if you don't tell someone it's not eggs, they'll never know. Thanks for watching.